saying that uh, these are some like kind of unordered collection of elements or data okay now if we talk about orderness the orderness there is from ascending orders always let it be numbers let it be alphabets whatever it is okay so we do say that these are unordered collections of data data elements okay but still we'll print the uh, help info of set okay right so it will an unordered collection of unique elements and that is also one more feature that is unique okay now the things what are important there is unordered collections of data elements okay or uh, you can write it better is unique i will discuss what is unique okay next could be these are written in curly braces okay and the data type is set and since there is no such particular order, no indexing are there in sets. These uh, four things are important in the set. Okay. Yes. All right. okay. Moving ahead now. So uh, let's go with the directory and understand the sets the set functions all these are the set functions from there all these are the set functions now we discuss the things let's say add now very similar to the list guys if we want to add an element to a set okay any particular unique element or you can say a singular element okay so a single element is to be added then we'll be using a function add so you can say it has to be singleton element and that will be add okay now how to create it let's say a is a set and this is okay and let's say now I write some of the numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 and I run this so a is going to be my set okay and there is now exactly the same order what I have written right and also if I check the type of A, it's set. Okay. Now you'll be having confusion. So order is getting uh, remained as the same what you have written. Okay. So I said that order is going to be in the ascending order. Okay. However, you get a uh, definition that these are unordered. But we have a ascending order there. Okay. So let's create a set B. Let's say here in set B, I make it like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So C or B, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So this is how the orders will be followed. Okay. Now let these be, uh, you know, alphabets. Okay, let it be C, A, B, C, it will be C, D, C, B and A, 
now if you look on to the D, it would be A, B, C, and D again, right? So this is how it would be going on, right? Uh, order nails will be same. Now if we come to uh, adding up the elements, now once you have defined the element, those will uh, never be defined it again, right? That uh, means that it will be not added up again once it is being declared in the set. Okay, so like uh, D is there or uh, 10 is there in the B. If I want to add something to B, uh, uh, yeah, in B, I want to add 11. I would write B dot add 11. And my B would give 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. The same thing I again want to do. Any specific more results? No. The same results we are getting. Why? Because once your 11 has been added, it will not be added again. So repetitions are not going to happen. In sets, okay? Like in list, you if it is a list, like let's say this is F, which is a list of B. Okay, so F here particularly looks something like this, and there you can add as many much elements you want. Oh, sorry, you can append. So you can there you can write 10, 11. Okay, just a minute, I'm coming. If I look to my F, 
I can get two times ten. But what if if we convert b as a set of this f? Suddenly, the g would be eliminating that element and would be having the same result as b. So uniqueness are there in the sets. Okay, that that is important. Okay, okay now ahead. Now this was the case of uh, how you add a single element. Now if you want to add multiple, see here there is no such options for insert because there is no such index things. Okay, so if you want to add lot of elements, we could do it. Like if you want to add some edge, okay, like k, and I want to add some multiple elements now. So a blank list is there, and I want to update it. Update. Uh, set and what is that oops okay you have to write it as set or else it will be mentioned at a dictionary so k is there and i guess uh, things have updated or not yes no okay Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now the problem is, see, it works in numbers well. There is no such issues with the number. Now, when it comes the turn of, you know, like alphabets, okay, in that cases it won't work well if you don't write it correctly. Correctly in the sense, like, uh, let's say this is R and this A. B okay, and you want to update the elements. Now, what if if we don't write the braces, right? In the list, you used to uh, put up the square brackets. What if we don't write it? What if we just write it like eleven or anything e? Okay, like let's say if we are writing some words, let's say here it is A B C. This is B C D, and this is I'm going to write C D E. E F G G H I. Okay, so R and C going to be the part A B C B C D. That's it. Then C D E will be the three individual substrings. Then E F G. Now E is getting a common right here. So F and G would be there, and then again G is a common. So then H I J would be there, and again that will be in the orders. Okay. So that is the thing. Like if you don't write it correctly in the way, it would be changed. Now, what if we write a braces here? There would be a change. Okay, we have updated your set. Now, when we store any username, when we store any pa passwords, are mm, getting stored in list. Okay, passwords are being uh, written there, but the usernames, most of the times, those are uh, those are inside the sets. Okay, you need to uh, change it. You can change it there, and then you can, uh, you know, like replace it again. Okay, so this was first of the addition methods. Now. Now uh, let's go to the uh, some other. In case of mathematical terms, like uh, if I have set A and set B, let's say. So in A, okay, that's A and B. Okay. C 
What we can do is a dot. For common things, we can use a function called as intersection. Okay. So a dot intersection of b or uh, you can have b dot intersection of a even so in a and b the two respective sets the only thing which is common is 4 among the two sets yes okay or you can write b dot intersection of A. 4 is the common one. Now uh, let's say that uh, if we want to find in some different method we can just write A and B and B and A. 4 and 4 at simple you will be getting. Okay next. Next, you, uh, we want to combine the sets. There we can do a dot. Okay, what? Yes, for combining what we do? Union B. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A B dot union of A. This. All right. Now, hmm, that's okay. Now, uh, in other terms, it would be A or B. Okay, again the same tuple and the rest of the things you are getting. It's just like math. Yeah, mathematics. Set. It's like mathematics. Set. Is it possible to not A and B? Not in B. Okay. You want to write not in B? Want to see the results? Okay. A and B. What it gives you first of all? Four. Okay. So you are trying to find a negation. Okay. Not of A and B. That is going. To, see, not. You have seen what what is not here. What kind of operator not is, which is going to give you a boolean result because that is a boolean operator, right? True and false. So negation, yes, negation. What I am saying. So if you write not of anything, you you will be getting right exactly. Uh, you know, the boolean result that is either true or false. Things will be getting okay. Yeah, so where we were A and B, uh, this was the union. Now, if you want to look up, guys, for you know, difference in the sets, what is a different element? So, like, difference in. Set A compared to set B. 
the difference in the set A as compared to the set B. So set A dot or set A minus B. 1, 2, 3 are the different elements as compared to the set B. Okay. Or in case we can write A dot difference of B. 1, 2, 3. And the next same thing we can write here. Difference in set B compared to set A. Okay, now uh, what you were saying negation is something which is uh, you want to find the uh, basically the reverse of uh, intersection, right? Like intersection, you have got four. So if we want to look something like which is not equals to, then how it will be? That is something called as symmetric difference. Symmetric difference, and uh, yeah. Okay. Here you will get all the difference at once 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because 4 is the common one. Okay, now uh, let's go back here. Let's see some removal methods. So D is a set which is having A, B, C, D. I want to remove an element using the method remove. If I write D dot remove D. D has removed. Would I run it again? You'll get a key error. You should, uh, you know, like know what error you'll be getting. So here you get a key error. And the same thing I'm going to write in E. D dot. Uh, the next method that is discard I'm going to use. Okay, the next method is discard. So let's say I want to discard A. That means removing. So now B, uh, D is having only B and C. Okay, but the same method or the same program what I did just there in the uh, remove method, I'll also do here. Okay. Any errors? No. Here there are no errors now. Right. So 
so if we see the documentation of this so discard is going to remove the element if it is a member of the set but if it is not a member it is not going to raise any errors you see if the element is not a member it uh, it basically uh, has to do nothing it will be act it will be acting just like a comment okay no such operations will be done if it is not a member but if it is a member it will remove the element from the set that's the thing all right now there is the method called as pop now as such pop you know right it eliminates the last element but here no such order is there so you'll be getting eliminations from the first is there e anything no f anything yes so if i write f dot pop So 10 is getting removed. F dot pop two. See if I write two. Okay, this is a list. That's what I would say. G dot pop. What's exactly a G? See, 5 is removed. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it's taking from the last. Yeah. So it is not taking from the first. Okay. 6 or 8. If I write, so pop in set is not going to take any arguments as indexing is not there. Okay. So it will automatically remove according to it from the start. One by one. No such arguments is to be passed over. Now, let's say I write some alphabets. Okay. So my ALPS is a set which will have uh, L, uh, you know like alphabets from this. Now, if I write an vowel alphabet, vowels A, B, R, okay, I want to check whether these vowels are a part of those alphabets or not right so for that I we need to check it like if we want to check whether this uh, vowels set is a subset of those alphabets or not so 
so again a boolean result is to be expected i will write that vowels dot is a subset of what a l p s it says false a e i o u anything missing out there oh yeah e is not there because spaces are not there now our uh, vowel that would be as it is i guess now we have to get a true result yeah okay now if we write that reverse of this that a l p s is a subset of v or w it is not because every element of alps is not present in vowels but every element of vowels are present in alps right so for alps this subset will be changed to superset that is true so always remember that if there if a set is having uh, this relation that if a subset of any set is there then it will be the then the set is going to be the superset of that subset this is the relation always remember this okay this is how it is going to work now So there are some different operations which say intersection update, difference update, uh, symmetric difference update. Okay. Now what are those things exactly? Now let's say uh, let's go back to A and B. We find that uh, there was some difference between the elements, right? A is this, B is this. Okay. Now in between. If we find A and B, so that was an output of how the elements will be looking after we uh, find the intersection. So only four will be there. But what if I want to update this result to A? I'll write that A dot intersection update B. That means you need to update the intersection of A and B in A. So this is not going to give you any outputs. Okay. If it's check your B, it will be okay. But A will be only 4 because the updations have been done in A. If I write B dot intersection of A, then B will be updated. Okay. This is how it goes. So let's bring the elements of A. Hmm. Now, similarly, if I go with different subject, So all the difference what are there in B with respect to A will be updated in A. 
so a is now going to have 1 2 and 3 4 is not the uh, different one right so it will be eliminated okay no similarly the symmetric difference it would have one two three and four okay this is how all the sets are going to work okay rest everything are uh, you know like given the set, sets assignment has been given to you right how you will be performing so no indexings are there okay all right all the functions are something like this okay i guess every function is clear now okay Clear and copy is very simple, guys. The last two functions. See, like a dot clear or a dot copy. You want to copy it? Let's say uh, a is l is there, and there we are copying a. Now l is one, two, three, and four. So if you want to clear L, let's watch clear. Thank you, sir. Okay, so here we complete our set. So tomorrow we'll be going with dictionary and then with pandas and then the projects will be starting. Meanwhile, we'll be going with the loops and the functions.